Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Leos. I want to see. I want to see what's going on in you guys' love life, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay. All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. Calling the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. So this is going to be for my Leos. Let's see what's currently going on with my Leos in love spirit. Oh, 10 of cups. So you guys are in a good place. You're in a good place right now, present moment. You guys are patient. If you're single right now, present moment, you're patiently waiting for your partner, your true love. You're not rushing it. If you're single right now, present moment, you're not rushing it. But if you are in a relationship right now, present moment, it's all about the timing. It's like this is finally things are starting to work out just the way that you wanted them to work out. Finally, you're getting your 10 of cups. Finally, you're getting that relationship. Finally, you're getting the family dynamic here. Tell me more. What's going on with my Leos in love? Seven of wands. So you guys got some boundaries up here. You're putting boundaries in place with someone. You're happy with this person nonetheless, but still you're putting boundaries up with this person. Four of wands. Yeah, you're in a re if you're in a relationship right now, present moment, while being in a relationship is all fun, all fine and dandy for you right now, present moment, I feel like you're putting up boundaries. I feel like you're standing up for yourself. I feel like you guys are telling whoever this is that you're dealing with what you want. And even if you're just out here dating, I feel like you guys are telling whoever it is, you're, the potential suitors, I feel like you're telling them right off the bat exactly what it is that you want. You want a relationship. You want marriage. You want a family. You want happiness. You know, this is telling me you want the picket fence here. And this is also telling me that you're not letting your guard down. You're not settling. You're not lowering your standards. This is telling me you guys are not lowering your standards right now, present moment. Why? Because you want a relationship. You want something solid. You want, you want a family. You want somebody that's willingly going to be a part of your family or somebody that willingly wants to build a family with you. Yeah. The hermit Virgo energy here. You guys have learned a lot. You've lived a lot of life. You've lived a lot of life. You know, you have you have taken the time needed to heal. You've taken the time that's needed to heal here. You've lived a lot of life here. You guys are very much so down to earth. You know, I feel like there's a bubble that's been popped for you guys in the past. Yeah, nine of wands. See that? You guys are the wounded warriors. A bubble has been popped already. You've already experienced hurt, pain, heartache. You know, you've already had so much life experience here. There's a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom here. You can't be played or fooled here. I feel like that's why you guys are so on guard right now, present moment. But this is also why you know exactly what it is that you want. This is exactly why, this is why you know exactly what it is that you want. Tell me more for my Leos. That card wanted to show itself. Temperance. Second time we're seeing temperance. Sagittarius energy coming through. You guys are patient. You want something balanced. You want something divinely orchestrated here. You guys are being very patient. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Look at that. For new love. You want the right kind of love. You want the right kind of love. You're patiently waiting for this love. Some of you guys are patiently waiting for new love. Hmm. Tell me more. Somebody here, you're avoiding someone here. That's in a relationship. Somebody that's married, you're avoiding this person right now, present moment. Tell me more. What's going on with my Leos in love? 
Ooh, the lovers here, Gemini energy here. There's somebody here that has your attention. Some of you guys, you got more than one person here to choose from. Gemini energy coming through. You have a choice. Seven of pentacles here. So there's somebody here where there's an investment here. Either, either you have a choice or you're dealing with somebody here that has a choice between you and someone else. Because the seven of pentacles talks about patience. There's a lot of patience here. Your patience is on an all time high right now. Like, I feel like your patience, it's like, it's like there should be a special place in heaven for you right now, present moment. You may feel that energy. Like right now, present moment, there should be a special place in heaven for you because your patience, you are being so patient. It's like, it's, it's like I'm hearing you're being patient with the divine, patient with the universe. Because it's like things keep being thrown at you, but still I feel like you're being patient here. Seven of Pentacles talks about your investment. Queen, there's somebody here that you're being extremely patient with. You know, you're trying to be patient with somebody. This could be somebody here that has somebody else as well. But you're not, you're not fibbing. You're not lying. You're standing in your truth. This is telling someone, I'm not dealing with this, this, or this. I'm not settling for this, this, or this. I feel like there's a strong energy here. Some of you guys could be a Leo with strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy coming through. Show me more. What's going on with my Leos in love? Eight of Swords. You guys can't, you guys are all in your head right now, present moments. You feel somewhat stuck. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Because there's someone here that, you, that you're in love with. There is someone here that you are in love with. Could be a Gemini, a Sagittarius, or a Virgo. But you're in love with this person. This person could actually be in something else. Yep, King of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this is something same sex. Some of you guys, this is something same sex here. Could be with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy coming through. This could definitely be something same sex for some of you guys. Some of you guys, could, this person could actually be married or in another relationship here. Yeah. Some of you guys, you yourself, this could be you. You could be stuck in a marriage or a relationship, but there's somebody else here that, that you can't stop thinking about this person, but you feel stuck. Show me more. What's going on with my Leos in love? Wow. Wow. Five of Pentacles here. Mm, the world here. Somebody is really like, I feel like this is like you guys like really, really like putting your foot down here, standing up for yourself here. If you're dealing with somebody here that's stuck in something else, playing games with you, Wearing their, wearing their welcome out because there's a welcome energy, yes, but wearing that welcome energy out here or somebody that kind of keeps you playing a, the guessing game here. I feel like this is the world here. You're ready to turn the page on this. You are. You're ready to turn the page on this. Why is the lovers here for my Leos? Why is the lovers here? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There's someone here that is so, you are like so attracted to this person. And there's someone here that you absolutely, you're in love with this person. You guys got options. You guys got options here. I feel like you're some, some of you guys, you're confused surrounding your options. There's confusion surrounding your options because I feel like there's something about your heart being somewhere as well. Why is this five of pentacles here? Because I want to see what this, this cold energy is coming through. Justice, Libra energy. This is like leaving somebody alone that's already in something. Doing the right thing here. You may be dealing with somebody here that's already in something, or this could be you, but leaving somebody alone, like, I can't do this. Because justice is all about doing the right thing. 
And with the five of pentacles, it talks about leaving someone out in the cold here, but it's doing the right thing here. Why is this eight of swords here for my Leos? Three of swords. See that? Heartache and pain. It hurts you. It hurts you to walk away from someone. It, 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 it actually it does. It hurts you to walk away from whoever this is. Seven of swords. But this person lies and this person cheats. This person's very deceitful. See that? Whoever this person is, this person, this person's, gosh, because I feel like this is the same person that has your heart. I do. I feel like this is the same person that has your heart. Why is temperance here for my Leos? The fool finally getting the new beginning that you want. So you thought. There's a feeling of so you thought. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Strong Aries energy coming through. And that's the thing. Like finally thinking that this is going to work out here. Because you guys want this new beginning. But you could definitely be dealing with somebody here that they have some unfinished business somewhere else. Why is this Queen of Wands here for my Leos? Why is this Queen of Wands here? The Tower, Scorpio energy. That's This is a shocker. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Because I feel like finding out someone can't be trusted. Or finding out that there is competition. Because somebody's finding out that there's there, there's 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 somebody has options and there's competition here, and I feel like whenever this person's finding out, their heart's already in this. I feel like I feel like the heart's already there. Why is the tower here? Scorpio energy coming through, the will of fortune. There's some unexpected changes here. Faded a faded turn of events. There's a fated turn of events here. This has to come out. What's done in the dark comes to light. That's the energy of what I'm seeing here. What's done in the dark comes to light. Strong Sagittarius energy. Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. What's done in the dark comes to light. Hmm. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on in my Leo's love life. Show me what's going on in my Leo's love life. Look at that. Telepathic. There's somebody here that you are in sync with. You are in sync with this person. Y'all sing the same music, the same song. Y'all like all the same artistry, artistic things. Tell me more. Deadline. Time is running out here. I feel like you guys have given somebody chance after chance after chance, though. Huh. Tell me more. The one. Merit souls here. There's someone here that you twin flame energy coming through. Twin flame energy coming through. You guys are very intuitive. You're very intuitive. You're very much so down to earth. Very intelligent. But there's somebody very specific here that you want. Hmm. Why do I feel like there's an energy here of like they disappoint me still though? Tell me more. Tell me more for my Leo spirit. Lost, ghosted, blocked, cut off. Hmm. Why do I feel? You feel like you've lost someone. Vacation, hideaway, escapade. Some of you guys, this could have been a secret romance. Or this is like somebody here that 
they they take you they whisk you away but that's i feel like that's it's like that's the end of the road yeah way down anchor because there's there's another part of this person's life here this person has another life you're not this person's end story but look at that unexplainable pull can't resist you can't resist this person though this person has you on a roller coaster ride single current status available some of you guys could be somebody in the public's eye and this person keeps a status of single available but th their story may be that this is how they sell something this could be somebody in the industry or something because i'm getting that energy coming through like this is somebody here that may keep up a, play up like play a game or, or keep up a facade but th they're not showing their true self they're not living their true life, their true calling here. You feel a faded bond to this person. This could be a twin flame connection. But I feel like you're also tired of the roller coaster ride. Because I feel like they're sitting, you guys may be sitting in the emotions right now, present moment, because I also feel like there's some unexpected, there's an unexpected turn of events here. And at the center of this read, there's an unexpected turn of events here. And it's like, it's only right is what I'm getting here. It's like, it's only right that you walk away from this or feeling like you're being backed into a corner where it's only right that you walk away from whatever this is. Tell me more. What's going on with my Leos in love? What's going on with my Leos in love? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith here. I feel like you're trying. I feel like you're trying because I'm telling you, there's something about your patience being the gift from the good Lord. There's something here about your patience being the gift from the good Lord here with this person. Tell me more. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Because I feel like you guys want what you want here in this situation. But you know how they say you let it go and if it, you let them go and if they come back to you, they stay, then they're truly for you. But, but if you let them go and they don't come back towards you changed because change is the greatest gift. A person that comes back towards you unchanged, you should be worthy of this person wanting to change. That should be the gift that this person is gifting you. Change, not the same thing from before that energy is coming through strongly that energy is coming through strongly my loves all right guys if any of this resonates please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't until next time bye leos